Okay, today I'm going to show you how to oil and uh, take care of a con cornet. This is called the Concert Grand. It's made in 1947. They made it from 1941 to 1951. It's probably the best cornet that uh, Con ever made. So what we'll do is we're going to oil the valves here. I just do one of them. Everything's the same so far. Now what you see when you take this out here, Mary, do you want to take a get close to this? You can see a little bit of tang there, right? You see that little tang there? It'll engage in a notch in the actual uh, body of the valve. And you have to get it right in there. And once you engage it, then it'll go down all the way. Now, I didn't do that because I want to oil it here first. So what I usually do is take it out here, uh, put it at a, a little bit of an angle. I uh, get my oil. To get the lid screwed off of it. And basically, I just give it about maybe three drops and I hold it at like an angle so that it kind of runs down and it runs to both sides. So I'll give it about three drops, just drop it right in there. That was only about two, but you get the general idea. So you put it in there, and then what I usually do is take it and turn it around a little bit so it works the oil in. So then I've got to get this tang here and what I do is I engage it right in that notch. You want to get close to that? So you just put it right in there and then push this thing all the way down and kind of hold it there while you put the cap on. Now the very important thing is when you tighten this cap here, do not force it at all. Because if you cross-thread this thing, you're into big dollars. So make sure it goes on easily the whole way. If for whatever reason it doesn't want to start, just what I usually do then is I turn it backwards till I hear it click. And once you hear it click, then it's usually engaged, and then you can tighten it except it's not tight right now, so I think probably what happened is this little tang came out of the slot. So it's a little bit tricky, but you get, you'll get used to it. So you put it down, and then like I said, if it doesn't engage, you turn it backwards a little bit until you hear it click, and then once you do, it'll usually go on nice and tight. Same with the, with the bottom cap there, it's the same thing. Although this one isn't as serious. If you would mess this one up, you normally don't have to take those off, so uh, that's not as bad, but just be so careful. The other thing about this thing is it has a micrometer tuning device for the slide, and what you do, now the slide will come all the way out, and then what happens is this little micrometer, what happens if you turn it counterclockwise, what it does And you can turn it when the thing is in. I, but if you turn it counterclockwise, it actually moves the slide out and gives you a lower tone. Now you'll find that even if you adjust it, once you play a couple minutes, then you'll have to put it right back in. And that's typical of all cornets. So that's really about it. The only th other thing is, uh, you know, don't bump it up. Don't mess it up. And... Uh, you know, almost every cornet that I've seen and had, they get a dent in them right in this area because people carry them around and bang it. And also you get people that uh, bang this end. I don't know how they do it, but they manage to. So again, um, once you've oiled all the valves, you know, they should be nice and free. If for whatever reason they're sticking, it means you have something on the, uh, the valve. And usually what I'll do is if that happens, usually if you take your, believe it or not, you take your hand 
and go over it. That gets rid of all of the lint. And then if you need to clean out the bore, you just take off both ends, take the cap off, then run a, uh, I usually use a, a um, one of those pieces of cloth that are good for glasses, and I run that through there, and that doesn't have any lint on, and that'll fix it up too. So usually that's the problem. And so that's about the end of this video there, and uh, again, enjoy the instrument. It's a good one. Okay, see ya. Press that button again.